Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Rhapsody a Musical Adventure. Last time, we got more party members with Duke, and I want to bring him in to replace El Coon in the party so I can start leveling him up. He's got a pretty powerful physical attack, but he's really, really slow. And normally, I wouldn't want to use a character like that, but his side quest involves the super boss of the game, and I'm going to need him properly leveled in order to survive it in the DS version here. In the PS1 version, not so much. So I wouldn't even bother using him at all. I mean, I guess you could use him maybe to replace Kid as a pure physical attacker, but there's really no reason to do that. Especially when we've got new enemies here. Let's see. Eagle! These guys have that shockwave attack that can hit your entire party for negligible damage. And, yeah, there's really not a whole lot special about them other than, let's see, this is the only area where I think they can be encountered. And because they're wind elemental, I can't take advantage of an elemental weakness in this version of the game. Maybe if you recruited a golem, he would be pretty good here, but no, we don't have that in this version. We don't have any puppets with earth elemental attacks either. Yeah, I was thinking I could uh, take them all out at once with some spells, but uh, no, no, not powerful enough yet there. Yeah, you always want to make sure you keep Terra's HP topped off because, yeah, she's rather squishy, especially compared to Shark there. Now, let's see, this chest in the PS1 version contains a thinking cap, which boosts your intelligence by five there. I don't know why they made that change. But in the PS1 version, I would give that to Shart to help augment the power of her holy spells. Okay, so we're almost at the end of this place. If you haven't found any of the new enemies yet, this would be the place to do it. Hmm, that left teleporter doesn't seem to be working. Well, we found someone here. Hey, how's it going? I have? Oh, why would a sage look big and strong? I would think, you know, sages would be really, really old and not muscular or anything, but, uh, no, no, I, I have no business with you. No, actually, I do want to say no there intentionally so that I can collect the treasure, talk to the little doll over there. And there's a familiar face in the room. Yeah, the little rabbit monster that was in Wonder Woods there. Whoa! Does it use a supercomputer to control everything? No. No, that's another game, viewers. Whoa! But yeah, you do want to examine Legem there because it will enable us to recruit it later on. Keep an eye on the window in the room, viewers. Well, yeah, that's why we're here. Aww. Well, he already is in really good shape now. Permanently. Well, yeah, I could have figured that one out. Will they help me summon Captain Planet? No, no, not in this game. So, what do they do? You're not going to tell us, are you? Yeah, I understand. I don't want to go through the explanation all over again. Now, with this line, he's referring to the suspension bridge, so the guards will let us go through there. But for some reason, they cut that part of the line out of the dialogue there for some reason. Maybe it was a bug or something, and they just didn't really think about it. 
Well, of course she's a puppet. Why not? Well, she does. Yeah, what about him? Oh, yeah, he's still kicking. He can repair my puppets in the PS1 version of the game if they die, but this version, not so much. What's going on? What about all this technology or something you were talking about? Aww. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. Um, well, yeah, that's probably true. Oh. Um, who is that? I don't know. How powerful could it have possibly been? <laughs> well, we got what we came for, I guess. Well, it did a good job, evidently. We're still here. Oh, okay. Wonder what ever happened to the king, anyway. I don't know. Well, yeah, I suppose he would have no problem with that. Hmm? What was that? Ha ha. Uh-oh. Yeah, they were spying on us the whole time! How they got all the way up there, I don't know. Yeah, they always land on all fours. Or not. And he died. Meanwhile... Haha. -ha. I mean, good, good. Well, not her. Well, he's already yours now. Ha ha. <laughs> I am mightier than the God. The devil is my slave more beautiful than the goddess i put her face to shame oh look at me what do you see there's no one greater than me i am the queen the best you've seen so worship me your highness marjorie we worship you as number Yes, I am evil, personified, so get down on your knees. And if you're ever graced by my beauty, you'll thank your lucky stars. Aren't I great? I'm amazing myself all the time. <laughs> there is one thing that I still have to get. I won't rest till he's mine, Prince Ferdinand. You know you're old enough to be his mother. Hey, you shut up! My heart is burning, overheating with a raging fire. The prince I do admire, he fills me with desire. Dear Ferdinando, I am here to save you from this curse. Let his love quench my thirst. My precious, wait a little longer, I will end your strife. I'll bring you back to life, I'll be your wicked wife. Dear Ferdinando, I am here to save you from this curse. Let your love quench my thirst. Quench your thirst. If you dare to get in my way, we'll make you pay. You won't 
could live another day. Uh, that's probably my second favorite song in the whole game. The Japanese version is pretty good, too. We need more villain musicals in RPGs. But alright, so to advance the plot, we can either go to the suspension bridge that'll lead us to Red Hot and the Firestone, and that'll unlock the locations for the Thunderstone and the Windstone, or you can go to Blue Cat, where, if you recall, some people were talking about the Waterstone there. And if you get that one, that unlocks the location for the Earthstone. But before doing all of that, let's head on over to Wonder Woods, where we saw Legend there before. I don't know why it makes a difference, but in order to recruit it, you need to have talked to it the other version of it at the Tower of Wisdom first. Now... DISAPPOINTED! Oh. I didn't think you'd actually leave. Uh, yeah, let's uh, hope he conveniently forgets what I said before. Hey, alright! Party members, now with Legem, who is very similar, almost identical to Terra, really, except he, what is it, yeah, he starts out with a lot more spells, but I'd rather put uh, Terra to use, because her side quest requires her to get up to level 30, whereas Legem's side quest, not so much, and Terra is nearly as good once she learns some of the more basic spells that Legend has as well. So let's see, now that we're in Chapter 5, uh, this is the longest chapter in the game by far. Probably bigger than the entire rest of the game put together. And there's chapters after Chapter 5 too, it's just this one is really, really big to collect the, uh, the elemental stones or heart stones, whatever they were. And some of the people around here now are talking about these pirates. Uh, we heard a little bit about it before. But, uh, yeah, they didn't really go into too much detail. So, I'm gonna go after the Waterstone first. Even though it's a little harder than, say, going for the Firestone, which is probably what you're intended to do. But, I think the rewards for... Uh, getting the Waterstone are much better, or the rewards that go along with it. Whoa! Must be quite a swimmer. Well, we gotta see if we can find a way to get to the sunken ship or something or other. But let's see, yeah, I need to restock on teleporters there. I don't know that I really need them now, but... Well, soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Let's see, some of the people at the restaurant here tell us a little more about whatever happened with that pirate ship that sunk into the sea or something or other happened. Yeah, that couldn't possibly be true. Seems like a strange name for a group of pirates, the White Whales, but okay. What? Yeah, I heard a little bit about that. Well, it was such a long time ago, though. Oh, really? Ha ha. Nah, that couldn't possibly be true. 
Yeah, exactly. Okay, so to advance the plot, we need to talk to this lady. Um. Oh, well, he's kind of dead. Oh, okay, uh, wait, what did you say? Oh, <laughs> can I, can you conveniently forget that I said no? Yeah, exactly. Why not? How hard could it possibly be? <laughs> okay, so yeah, to advance the plot, you need to talk to her here. Oh, okay, sounds like a plan. So, yeah, if you didn't talk to her, you'd go into the cave and you wouldn't be able to do anything there just like before. But now that we have talked to her, we've activated that sequence trigger. But how are we going to find a way to get to that sunken pirate ship? Find out next time on Let's Play Rhapsody, a musical adventure. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.